What's going on guys, it's Fox and in today's video tutorial we're going to be updating the MIG switch MIG flash to firmware version 1.2.3. This is a hot fix. This will fix the black screens and the uh, titles crashing. This also fixes the Metroid issue. First things first, go in my description and download my repack and we're going to be updating two things. We're going to be updating the MIG switch flash cart and we're going to be also be updating the dumper. So just right click, press extract here. After this extracts, as you can see on the computer, my dumper is plugged into the computer. So you're gonna get a folder called system. Open up this folder, okay? Then I want you to delete this. Then just copy this. And your uh, dumper is gonna flash a couple of times. Make sure you're using a high quality type C cable. Now what I want you to do is I want you to test the dumper to make sure the dumper is working. So go ahead and put a card in there. Please make sure you re-eject the uh, card. I'm sorry, re-eject the dumper and reconnect it. Okay, do you see that I re-connected uh, the dumper? Do you see it says 1.2.3? That's the latest firmware it's been flashed to. Now I'm gonna plug a card in there to make sure it works. I plugged the card into the dumper. As you can see, this is a title. I right click and press properties and that's the size of it so we know that it's working properly. Now what I want you to do is I want you to take your SD card and put it into the computer and we're going to be deleting two files here. I can't show my file structure so do you see where it says this note file index dot index and update I want you to delete these files don't copy and paste and override please delete the file. After you delete the file, just drag and drop this update onto the root of the micro card. What I want you to do now is to eject the SD card from the uh, computer and put it into your MIG switch, MIG flash card. The next part I can't show on camera. I don't want to get anything, you know. When I go to put the uh, SD card back into the MIG switch, MIG flash, I get a uh, error message that says this game card cannot be read. That's normal. I want you to eject it. Then go ahead and plug it back in. When you update the firmware for the first time, the flash card's going to blink blue a couple times. Then you might get the uh, green LED. That's fine. That means your flash card has been updated. Now I'm going to show you how to update the firmware in case you're a band user like I am. First thing I want you to do is go ahead and connect to the internet. Make sure you disable airplane mode. Then go ahead and connect to your network. Please bear in mind some of this is not going to look right because I already updated when I was at work. I wanted to get some of this video started. So after you update and you're connected to the network, then go all the way to the very bottom of the page. Then go to, then go to system, then press system update. I'm not going to bother. I'm already on the latest firmware. For Metroid to work, you must be on the latest firmware 21.1.0 and you must be on the latest firmware of the MIG switch MIG flash card firmware which is 1.2.3 and everything is all set ready to go and you won't have any problems. If you're having problems with your file structure on the root of your card, please leave all your files on the actual root of the micro card. Don't put your don't put, your, like, don't put your application inside of a folder. Have all your files on the root of the card and it's much easier and your flash card is going to be able to read the files much more easier. Sorry, I keep not using certain words and leaving certain phrases out. There's a reason why I have to do this. That's it for this tutorial guide. Like and subscribe to the Fox Den. I'll catch you later. Have a wonderful day. I hope this helped you out.